This is Ian Camelotis and this is Chatterbox. Okay, so I'm here at Anime Midwest with famous voice actress Laura Post. Uh, so tell us what brought you to Anime Midwest this year. Um, I'm actually originally from the Chicagoland area, so it was really exciting for me to come to a hometown con. And uh, I now live in LA, so it was uh, they invited me, and I was really excited to come back to Chicago. Is this your first con back in Chicago, or have you done Chicago cons before? It is my first uh, back in Chicago con. I've done a couple Midwest cons. I did, I've did. i done Kitsune Con in Wisconsin, but this is the first one in Chicago, which is awesome. <laughs> so you've ran a different uh, array of panels this year. What were some of the main panels that you were looking forward to meeting with the many con goers here? Um, well, two panels that I pretty much always run are a business of the business voice acting panel and a playing pretend for a living panel. And one is about uh, voice acting where you actually get up and you read scripts and it's sort of run like a workshop. And then the other one is sort of answering those questions that you never really know how to ask a person like, how does the union work? Because that's a really complicated question and when you try to look it up online, you get lots of answers. So uh, I try to answer those questions. I got my start like when I wanted to do voice acting when I was, I wanted to do voice acting when I was a little kid. I was like six years old and uh, I, you know, I was six. So I sort of let it go to the wayside and I came to a convention when I was 18 later and I saw panels on voice acting and I was like, oh my gosh, that's what I wanted to do when I was a kid. I'm going to go to these panels. And after doing that, I was inspired to sort of go and pursue it. So I kind of want to pay it forward which is why I do these panels about voice acting to help other people sort of either get inspired or find access to the tools they need so that they can also pursue voiceover. Okay, that's a lot of great advice to, for people to get for voice acting. I wanted to ask you, because I've got a lot of friends who are League of Legends fans and also another famous one you do is Skullgirls. What drew you to those, especially those two iconic roles, Ari and uh, Valentine? Um, I can't say there's anything specific that drew me to them so much as I was lucky enough to be able to audition for them and then even more lucky to actually be selected to play the part. Uh, I, I love them both though. They, uh, they're both very sexy but in two very different ways. Like Valentine is very in charge, I, I guess they're both sort of in charge, but Valentine is very uh, like straightforward and like down to business and just you know ready for your shots whereas Ari is much more coy and flirty and even though she's in control she sort of makes it seem like she's not and I, I like that about both of them they're very cool characters Oh, okay um, one last thing I wanted to ask is there anything you could tell our audience uh, any advice for any aspiring voice actors at all uh, sure if you want to do voiceover start doing voiceover because there's no excuse to not just get online and start putting your voice out there and that's the first step is to just start doing it well there's a good practice if you go to my panel next year scene dub so well this is ian cam lotus at anime midwest thank you for watching <laughs>